of the kings of Israel. I'm Brother Baruch, and to my left. I'm Brother Andrew. And we're going to go over the topic of the day is race and nationality matters. We're going to open up with the book of John, chapter 1, and verse 47. So like we bring it out, uh, race and nationality matters. In these troublesome times, you know, everybody's trying to pull together and all these things. So let's say what the Bible says about race and nationality. The book of St. John, chapter 1 and verse 47. Jesus saw Nathanael coming to him and said of him, Behold, an Israelite indeed. And what now? An Israelite indeed. So Jesus Christ witnessed the Nathanael who was an Israelite and said, Behold, an Israelite indeed. Read on. And whom is no God. And whom is no God. I mean, this man was a righteous man. So Jesus Christ come out of the gate. Looking for the Israelites. That's what he was going to. So let's get some more. Let's get a Matthew uh, chapter 15 and verse 34. Matthew the 15th chapter. We're going to start at verse 24. The book of St. Matthew chapter 15 and verse 24. But he answered and said, I am not sent but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. So Christ answered and said he is not sent but, but, but me only, only unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. So as we get on in this Bible, we're going to understand that race and nationality matters. Okay, let's go to Isaiah chapter 45 and verse 4. Christ said out of his own mouth, written in red, that he is not sent, but meaning only unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. The book of Isaiah, chapter 45 and verse 4. For Jacob, my servant's sake. Jacob is Israel, come on. And Israel, my elect. And Israel is God's elect. If Israel is God's elect, then race and nationality matters because Israel is God's elect. Let's get some more. Let's go to Leviticus chapter 25, verse 55. So Israel is the elect of God. So when you read in the book of Matthew, when Christ is talking about gathering his elect, he's talking about gathering the Israelites. The book of Leviticus... Chapter 25 and verse 55. Uh -huh, come on. For unto me the children of Israel are servants. Uh, unto God the children of Israel are servants. Not everybody on the face of the earth. The children of Israel are God's servants. Let's get some more. Let's go to Jeremiah chapter 31. Jeremiah chapter 31. The children of Israel are the servants of God. The children of Israel are the elect of God. We're going to go to Jeremiah chapter 31. We're going to start at verse, uh, we're going to start at verse 35. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 31 and verse 35. Thus says the Lord, uh -huh. which giveth the sun for a light by day, and the ordinance of the moon and of the stars for a light by night, uh -huh. which divided the sea, when the wave thereof roar, mm -hmm. the Lord of hosts is his name. This is giving you the creation. This is the, uh, a story of the creation. Come on, 36. If those ordinances depart from before me. So if there's no more sun, there's no more uh, uh, moon. Come on. Saith the Lord, then the seed of Israel also shall cease from being a nation before me forever. Boom. You heard that? So the most High saying is, the sun is done away with, if the moon is done away with, if the stars is done away with, if the sea is done away with, only then, only then will the children of Israel will cease to be his people forever. So, Israel is God's people forever. Now, let's see if the sun and the moon and the stars are going to cease from being among men. Let's go to Isaiah chapter 66 and verse 22. Isaiah chapter 66 and verse 22. Because let's analyze this forever. Let's see how long that God says the children of Israel are going to be his people. Let's analyze this. Let's get this thing. That's why we got to go precept upon precept. Isaiah chapter 66, verse 22. The book of Isaiah, chapter 66, and verse 22. For as the new heaven 
and the new earth. So now we're talking about the new heaven and the new earth. Come on. Which I will make. Which God is going to make. Come on. Shall remain before me. It's going to remain before him. Come on. Said the Lord. Mm -hmm. So shall your seed and your name remain. Uh-huh. Who are you speaking about? The children of Israel. Come on. And it shall come to pass that from one new moon to another. Uh-huh. And from one Sabbath to another. That's what I wanted. One new moon to another and one Sabbath to another. Meaning what? The ordinances are not going to change. The moon is still going to be there in the new heaven and the new earth. The sun is still going to be around in the new heaven and the new earth. But that sun and that light is going to be the most high dwelling in his temple. So that moon is still going to be there. The children of Israel are going to still be the seed of the chosen seed of the most high God. So race and nationality matters. Let's get some more. Let's get uh, Sirach chapter 24 and verse 23. Because the doctrine in the earth today is race and nationality, don't, it don't matter. It don't matter. The color of Christ don't matter. Oh, uh, it don't matter that uh, the Gentiles have changed the children of Israel's name. It does matter. Let's get that. And the Apocrypha, the book of Sirach, chapter 24 and verse 23. All these things are the book of the covenant of the Most High God. So everything we're reading in this Bible is the book of the covenant of the Most High God. Everything in the Bible. Come on. Even the law which Moses commanded for inheritance unto the congregation of Jacob. Unto who? Unto the congregation of Jacob. So this book, this covenant, and the law was only given, this Bible was only given unto the children of Israel. That's what it was given to because race and nationality matters. Now let's get some more. Let's go to Hebrews chapter 8 and 8. Let's get some more about the, who this Bible is for and who this covenant is, who these covenants are for. The book of Hebrews chapter 8 and verse 8. The book of Hebrews chapter 8 and verse 8. For finding fault with them, mm -hmm. he said, Behold, the days come, saith the Lord, when I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel and with the house of Judah. There we go. He's going to make a new covenant. He found fault in them under the old covenant of animal sacrifice. So the new covenant is repentance through his son Jesus the Christ. And the new covenant is only with the house of Israel and with the house of Judah. Not everybody. Not everybody on the face of the earth. Let's get some more. Let's go to uh, let's go to Joel chapter 2, verse 27. Remember the topic of this lesson is called race and nationality matters. Race and nationality matters. The problem is. The Israelites don't know who they are today by reason of the curses in Deuteronomy chapter 28. Our nationality and our race and our names was changed through slavery. But in these last days, we're waking up and understanding that we are the children of Israel. Read what you got. The book of Joel, chapter 2 and verse 27. And ye shall know that I am in the midst of Israel. Come on. And that I am the Lord your God. Mm -hmm. And none else. Wow, God said none else. Let's get the book of Amos, chapter 3, verse 1. Race and nationality matters. Especially matters when God is saying you his chosen. You so-called blacks, to blacks, Hispanics, and Native American Indians. You the chosen of the most high God. But you don't know that because your name was changed to slavery. James. Your name is Toby. I want to hear say it. Your name is Toby. You're going to learn to say your name. Let me hear you say it. What's your name? Kunta. Kunta Kinte. We don't know these things because of sin. Sin is what separated us from our God. So we got to come back to him, keep his covenant, meaning keep his laws, statutes, and commandments in the faith of his son, Jesus the Christ. The book of Amos, chapter 3 and verse 1. Hear this word that the Lord has spoken against you, O children of Israel. Uh -huh. The word that he's spoken against you is these curses for breaking his commandments. He's going to say it, read Against the whole family which I brought up from the land of Egypt. And he delivered the Israelites from slavery in Egypt. Come on. Saying, 
You only have I known of all the families of the earth. And God says, I only know you of all the families of the earth. But this is how you're going to punish us, Reed. Therefore, I will punish you for all your iniquities. I'm going to punish you for breaking my commandments. That's why we don't know who you are today. We are under the curse of Deuteronomy chapter 28. That's why we don't know who we are. That's why we don't know who we are. Let's get that. Get uh, 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 Isaiah chapter 65 and verse 15. I'm going to show you why we don't know that we are the Israelites. Isaiah chapter 65 and verse 15. If you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native American Indians, you are the Israelites according to this Holy Bible. Your race, your identity, your nationality, it does matter. The book of Isaiah, chapter 65 and verse 15. Uh-huh. And ye shall leave your name for a curse unto my chosen. You gonna do what now? You shall leave your name for a curse unto my chosen. God says you're going to leave your name. Your God-given name meaning Judah, Benjamin, Levi, Ephraim, Manasseh, Gad. We're going to leave that name for a curse. A curse for breaking his commandments. We don't deserve to be called the children of God because we're wicked. But when we repent and keep these commandments, now we're coming back into this thing and we can be called Israel again. That's what God is saying. Now let's drop that. Let's go to Romans chapter 3 and verse 1. Romans chapter 3 and verse 1. The book of Romans chapter 3 and verse 1. What advantage then had the Jew? So what's the advantage of being an Israelite? What's the advantage of being an Israelite? Come on. Or what profit is there of circumcision? What profit is to be circumcised in your mind to keep these commandments? What's the profit of you keeping these commandments? Come on. Much everywhere. God said much in every way. Read it again. The book of Romans, chapter 3 and verse 1. Uh-huh. What, what advantage then had the Jew? Come on. Or what profit is there of circumcision? Uh-huh. Much everywhere. Much in every way God said. You get much profit in keeping these commandments. Read on. Chiefly, because that unto them were committed the oracles of God. Mainly because unto you was given this Bible. That's what God is saying. Read on. For what if some did not believe? So what if some don't believe? Because people don't believe that we the children of Israel. People don't believe that uh, the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans are the Israelites. Come on. Shall their unbelief make the faith of God without effect? Just because you don't believe because of all the things written in this Bible of none effect? Come on. God forbid. Ain't no way. Ain't no way. Come on. Yay. Let God be true. But every man's a liar. And every man that speaks against this word, this Bible, is a liar. So that's why you're seeing all these things coming to pass in these last days because it's written in the Holy Bible. It's written in the Bible. It's, it's prophesied that we're going to go into slavery, we're going to wake up in these last days and understand who we are, we're going to understand who our enemies are who are oppressing us today. Right? So now let's go to, let's go to Romans chapter uh, 9, verse 1 through 4. Stay in the same book. Let's go to Romans chapter 9. The book of Romans chapter 9, verse 1. Mm -hmm. I say the truth in Christ. I lie not. Uh huh. My conscience also bearing me witness in the Holy Ghost. Uh huh. In the Word of God. Come on. That I have great heaviness and continued sorrow in my heart. So Paul is speaking. Come on. For I could wish that myself were a curse from Christ for my brethren. Uh, my brethren, come on. My kinsmen. My, my kinsmen. According to the flesh. According to the flesh. According to the flesh. Come on. Who are Israelites. Who are what? Who are Israelites. Come on. To whom pretended the adoption. So the adoption of being grafted back into the fold is for the Israelites. That's what the adoption is. Come on. And the glory. And the glory, which is the kingdom of heaven. Come on. And the covenant. And the covenant is the old covenant and the new covenant. Come on. And the giving of the law. We all know the law was only given to the Israelites. That's what Paul is saying. Come on. And the service of God and the promises. And the promises. The service of God. That's what we read in Leviticus 25. Israel are the Lord's servants. And the promises, meaning everything pertaining to the promises of, that God has for the Israelites. Come on. Whose are the Father, uh -huh. and of whom, as concerning the flesh, Christ came. Right. So Christ only came for the children of Israel. 
That's what Paul is saying. Christ only came for the children of Israel. So race and nationality matters. Like I said, we don't know who we are in these last days. Let's get Hosea chapter 1 and verse uh, 10 and 11. Why? Because we left our name for a curse for breaking the commandments. In these last days, we got to repent, come back to the most high of faith in his son Jesus the Christ and keep the commandments. That's what we got to do. The book of Hosea chapter 1 and verse 10. Yet the number of the children of Israel shall be at the sand of the sea. Uh-huh. Israel is going to multiply. Come on. Which cannot be measured nor numbered. And it, we can't be measured or numbered. Why? Because today we call ourselves Haitian, Jamaican, uh, uh, Mexican, uh, uh, Brazilian, uh, uh, Native American, Indian. That's why we can't be numbered. African American. That's why we can't be numbered because we're separated by Gentile names. Come on. And it shall come to pass. But it's going to happen, read. That in the place where it was said unto them, ye are not my people. So when we got off the slaves in America, we was, it was told to us that we are not God's people. Your name is Toby, boy. You are, that, you are a Negro, boy. You are Hispanic. You are a speak, boy. You are Native American Indian. That's what they were saying. That's why they were saying we are not his people. Read on. There it shall be said unto them, Ye are the sons of the living God. All praise to the Most High. The same places that it was said unto us, we are not God's people. In these last days, it's being told to us that we are the sons of the living God. That's what the Bible is talking about. So let's go get some more. Let's go to uh, let's go to Acts chapter one, verse six. The book of Acts, chapter 1, verse 6. Because understand, the promises in this Bible has always been toward the Israelites. Come on. The book of Acts, chapter 1, and verse 6. When they therefore were come together, they asked of him, mm -hmm. saying, Lord, will thou at this time restore again the kingdom of Israel? The kingdom of who? The kingdom of Israel. So the prophets and the apostles, I always knew, asked this question. They was asking Christ, is it now time to restore the kingdom to Israel? Because all throughout the Old Testament, the promise of the kingdom was always promised to the Israelites. They knew that. But the teaching that we under the day, under the Gentiles, is they've been teaching us that the kingdom is for everybody. Not knowing that the kingdom of, of God is only for the Israelites. Let's get some more. Let's go to uh, Isaiah chapter 14, verse 1. One through four. Let's get some more with the king. Let's read about the kingdom and what the Israelites are going to be doing in the kingdom. Because the kingdom of God is not for everybody. Race and nationality matters, man. The book of Isaiah, chapter 14, and verse 1. For the Lord will have mercy on Jacob. On Jacob. And keep reading it. Come on. And will yet choose Israel. God is going to choose Israel. Come on. And set them in their own land. Come on. And the strangers shall be joined with them. The strangers are the other nations. They're going to be joined with the house of Jacob. Come on. And they shall cleave to the house of Jacob. And they're going to cleave. They're going to be wanting to follow us. Come on. And the people shall take them and bring them to their place. We're going to take them and bring them to their place. And the house of Israel shall possess them. Shall what now? Shall possess them. Shall what now? Shall possess them. The Bible says the house of Israel will possess those other nations. Come on. And the land of the Lord for servant. Uh, for what now? For servant. Come on. And handmaids. Mm, 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 mm. Really? And they shall take them captive. Take them what? They shall take them captive. Really? Whose captive they were. Now, that's your reparations, black folks, Hispanic folks, Native American folks. We read about your reparations right here in this Bible. This is your reparations for all the stuff that's going on today, for all your George Floyd, for all your Ahmaud Arbery, you know what I'm saying, Sandra Bland, and all this number, countless uh, other brothers and sisters who have been killed by these enemies on this earth today. Read on. And they shall rule over their oppressors. That's music to my ears, man. That's music. That's to make you want to repent. But it's not going to happen until you repent and keep these commandments. Keep these commandments. Now, let's go to Zephaniah chapter 2, verse 1. Zephaniah chapter 2, verse 1. The book of Zephaniah chapter 2 and verse 1. Gather yourself together. 
Yea, gather together, O nation, not desire. So the Bible says, gather yourselves together, O nation, not desire. That's your so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native American Indians. So if you're going to be getting together, you got to be getting together under the, this Bible, saying that you're going to keep the commandments, not getting together, marching, protesting, because we tried that already. It never worked. You got you got an enemy in the midst right now uh, disrupting your supposedly peaceful movement and y'all falling for it. Y'all throwing bricks, y'all burning down buildings because they can't gather with you. You gotta gather with your people under this Bible and repent and Christ gonna do the rest, right? So let's go um, read on in Zephaniah, read on. Verse two, before the decree bring forth, before the days pass as the shaft, mm -hmm. before the fierce anger of the Lord come upon you, before the day of the Lord's anger come upon you. So that's why you better gather on and keep these commandments because when Christ come back, he gonna, he gonna destroy the nation. He said for the decree break forth. The decree is that Christ is coming back to deliver his people and he gonna destroy these nations. That's the decree. It's written in the Bible in Isaiah the 66th chapter. And he said for the day of the chaff, meaning the chaff is something that you burn. The day that Christ come back and burn everything before the fierce anger of the Lord come upon you. So if you don't repent and keep these commandments, that fierce anger of the Lord is gonna come upon you and you're gonna be burnt up. You're going to get that nuclear fire and that destruction. So that's what you're going to get. So let's go to uh, Corinthians. So let's go to 2 Corinthians chapter 6 and verse 17. Remember the topic. Race and nationality matters. You can't just be going around here uh, it don't matter. Calling yourself an African American. No, you was given that name in slavery. And you proud of that thing. No, no. We're going to show you why you can't be doing that. The book of 2 Corinthians, chapter 6 and verse 17. Wherefore, come out from among them. The Bible said, come out from among them. Come on. And be ye separate. Be ye separate. That's what the Bible says. You Israelites, you got to come together, O nation not desire. Be ye separate. Now let's go to Exodus chapter 19, verse 6. Be ye separate. That's what the Bible says. It's another scripture that say, uh, though hand join in hand, God is not going to uh, equip the wicked. So he ain't going to let people off. Because guess what? Y'all don't understand. These people out here marching for, for gay rights. And y'all marching for oppression for the stop us from killing us in the street. And they joining in with your movement to be gay. And that's against the laws of God, man. To be transgender, to be what you want to be. That's what they use your movement for their own benefit. Wake up, people. Wake up. Be what you got. The book of Exodus, chapter 19 and verse 6. And ye shall be unto you, and it me. And ye shall be unto me, mm -hmm. a kingdom of priests. Come on. And a holy nation. Holy nation. He's speaking. Come on. Watch this. These are the words which thou shalt speak unto the children of Israel. So God, everybody's not on the same level, man. Everybody's not on the same level. He said, you shall be unto me a kingdom of priests and a holy nation. These are the words which thou spake, shalt speak unto the children of Israel. Not everybody. Let's get to 2 Peter. 2 Peter, no, 1 Peter chapter 2 and verse 9. Let's see if anything changes in the New Testament. God told Moses to tell the children of Israel, you are unto me a kingdom of priests and a holy nation. That's what God said to the children of Israel. The book of 1 Peter, chapter 2 and verse 9. But ye are a chosen generation. You are a chosen generation. Just like what we've been reading all the way up until now. Come on, still read it. A royal priesthood and holy nation. Same thing Moses said, come on. A peculiar people. Uh-huh. That ye should show forth the praises of him who had called you out of darkness. Because in these last days we in darkness. We are in darkness. Come on. And to his marvelous light. The marvelous light is repentance through Christ. Repentance through Christ. Who only who only can who only have that? The children of Israel, you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native American Indians. Now, let's go to um let's go to 2 Ezra chapter 6. 2 Ezra chapter 6. In verse 54. Race and nationality matters. Race and nationality matters. Very important that you know who you are, know who your God is. In the Apocrypha, the book of 2nd Address, chapter 6 
and verse 54. And after these, Adam also, mm -hmm. whom thou madest Lord of all thy creatures, uh -huh. of him come we all. Everybody come from Adam, come on. And the people also whom thou hast chosen. And also the Israelites come from Adam. Come on. All this have I spoken before thee, uh -huh. O Lord, because thou madest the world for our sake. So Ezra is saying, you made the world for our sake, for Israel's sake. Come on. As for the other people, uh -huh. which also comes of Adam. As for everybody else, come on. Thou hast said that they are nothing. That they are what? That they are nothing. God says the other people uh, outside of Israel are nothing. Or nothing. So race and nationality matters. It does matter. Now let's get the book of Revelations. No, Isaiah chapter uh, 43 verse 1. Isaiah chapter 43 verse 1. The book of Isaiah chapter 43 and verse 1. Uh huh. But now thus said the Lord that created thee, uh -huh. O Jacob, and he that formed thee, O Israel, fear not. Mm -hmm. For I have redeemed thee, I have called thee by thy name, thou art mine. Thou art mine. You hear what God says? So that's what God says about Israel. Now let's go to, uh, let's go to uh, 2 Samuel chapter 7, verse 23. 2 Samuel chapter 7 verse 23. The book of 2 Samuel chapter 7 and verse 23. And what one nation in the earth is like thy people? Uh -huh. Even like Israel whom God went to redeem for a people to himself. The only people that can be redeemed is going to be Israel. Come on. And to make him a name and to do for you great things and terrible. And terrible. Why? Because it's going to be some destruction and death that God is going to do for the children of Israel. Read. For thy land. Mm -hmm. And for his land, because all people over there in his land is not his people, according to Revelation 2 and 9. Read on. Before thy people, which thou redeemest to thee from Egypt, uh -huh. from the nation and their God. And their God. Egypt is captivity. Captivity. All right, now let's get Revelation chapter 21, verse 13. Last one. Revelation chapter 21 and verse 13. Understand the topic of this lesson is race and nationality matters. Race and nationality matters. Read. The book of Revelation chapter 21 and verse 13. On the east three gates. Uh-huh. On the north, three gates. Read the verse above it so we know what we're talking about. The book of Revelation, chapter 21, and verse 12. Uh -huh. And had a wall great and high, mm -hmm. and had 12 gates, uh -huh. and at the gates 12 angels, uh -huh. and names written thereon, which are the names of the 12 tribes of the children of Israel. So we're reading about the kingdom of heaven, which is to come. And at this kingdom of heaven, it had a wall great and high. And it had 12 gates and 12 angels. And the names on those gates is the 12 tribes of the children of Israel. So the kingdom of heaven is only for the 12 tribes of the children of Israel. Only the ones who keep in the commandments in the faith of his son, Jesus Christ. So, okay, from that, we're going to say Shalom. I'm going to Brother Andrew. With that, you say Shalom.